What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben. So with the latest macOS 15.1 update that Apple recently released, you can see here I'm actually on the update. And if you're a developer beta, this is something that you're going to see in your beta update page. You can see macOS Sequoia 15.1 with the build number 24B5009i. They introduced something and you can see the Siri and search tab has been upgraded to Apple intelligence and Siri. And you can see here I do have the newly updated Siri icon and this one on top in the top right corner hasn't yet been updated but you can see here on the settings tab and inside the Siri and Apple intelligence tab it's been updated and it mentions that it's in beta now keep in mind that in order for you to enjoy Apple intelligence on your iPhone and on your Mac there are certain devices that only support this in the meantime and you can see for the iPhone it's the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro so only the 15 Pro series lineup of the iPhone going forward support Apple intelligence and the iPad you can see iPad Pro M1 and later iPad Air M1 and later and for the MacBooks whether it's the MacBook Air Mac MacBook Pro or whatever Mac you have you just need an Apple M1 silicon chip or later and you'll be able to enjoy Apple intelligence with the newly updated Siri to be able to do that now of course on my device I have an Apple silicon M1 chip and right here you can see when I go to the Apple intelligence and Siri settings it says Apple intelligence is not available in your country or region and this is understandable because if you go to the page here where Apple talks about Apple intelligence they mentioned that Apple intelligence is free to use and will be initially available in the US English coming in beta later this year and you can see there's a footnote right there that actually talks about Apple intelligence will be available on beta on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max and these other devices with Siri and device language set to US English as part of iOS 18 and iPad OS 18 and Mac OS Sequoia this year. Some features of course are going to be dependent and additional language and platform will be coming over the course of the year so because I'm in Canada right now I'll just show you something how you can do this in order to be able to get Apple intelligence if you're not in the US so the first thing they said to do on that web page about Apple intelligence is to go into our Siri settings and change the device and Siri language to English US and right here all we have to do is go into your settings and then go to Apple intelligence and Siri and go to where it says language right there click on it and look for where it says English US or English United States select it and it will prompt you to be able to change the Siri language and you can see this icon hasn't yet been updated but it doesn't matter just click where it says change and now you will see the language has changed but Apple intelligence is still not available in our country origin so the next thing we want to do like the web page mentioned is to change the device language to English US so in order to do that we go into our system settings and if go to where it says general right there you can see where it says language and region if you click on the language and region you can see my region is currently set to Canada so if I click them and then go to the Americas and under the Americas you will want to look for United States select United States if you want to change some of these metrics such as temperature or measurement it doesn't really matter whether you change Fahrenheit or Celsius or US here or UK metrics this doesn't really matter so just make sure that your language region is set to United States and now if we go back you can see Apple intelligence is not available in your country or region so in order to enable Apple intelligence since we've done everything give it a few seconds and you can see it auto populates keep in mind that if this join Apple intelligent waitlist doesn't show up automatically then what you need to do is to actually go into your device and just do a quick restart that way it will show up after your device restart or if you're like me right here and you're in Canada and you've made these changes you'll be able to see the join Apple intelligence waitlist just to show you what this waitlist does it says reserve your spot on the waitlist and get ready to experience 
intelligence that understands your personal context and information and right now if we click to where it says join apple intelligent waitlist you can see we have a page that says apple intelligence and uh, and it says personal intelligence is integrated throughout your apps and experience to simplify and accelerate your everyday activities new ways to express yourself with enhanced writing create personalized images and express yourself in more ways than ever the start of a new era for siri and siri is more natural contextually relevant and personal to you and you have built for privacy right here so now if you want to read about apple intelligence you can click there and it will tell you all about apple intelligence and privacy if you click ok and then go down and click where it says join the wait list you can see joined waiting list you'll be notified when apple intelligence is available on your mac this really shouldn't take a long time in fact let me show you what i mean by that this is my friend aaron from zolotex channel right here you can see with ios 18.1 they also added apple intelligence he makes great ios videos right there but one of the comments here that's highlighted is that i got apple intelligence after about an hour of joining the wait list and you can see if we go to some of the comments how did you get notified and it took about six minutes for me so you can see definitely it's varying depending on the device and maybe the region but as you can see i haven't yet got the notification it hasn't arrived so definitely within about one to two hours you can see you'll be notified when apple intelligence becomes available so it shouldn't really take long and if you haven't watched ios 18.1 and some of the new features that apple intelligence introduces and some of the features that are yet to be coming then definitely go watch aaron from Zolotex video or if you want to see it on Mac OS then do subscribe here because that's probably the next video that I'm going to be making but right now you can see I've still joined the waiting list and if I close this page maybe just to give it a refresh if we close the system preferences right here and then open it up again go to Apple intelligence it still says joined waiting list so this should approximately take less than an hour as we've seen so this is how you are able to get Apple intelligence. If you are not in the United States, you just have to change your silly language to English United States and then go to general and change your language and region to United States where it says region right here. And you'll be able to go into your Apple intelligence and Siri setting right here after waiting for a few seconds it will auto populate and you have a join button and you'll be able to try out Apple intelligence and Siri so the same procedure or process applies whether you are on Mac OS 15.1 Sequoia or if you are on iOS 18.1 it's the same you just have to make sure you do those two changes that I've demonstrated here and you have a supported device of course otherwise you won't be able to see this and then you'll be able to try out apple intelligence and siri so that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video pretty soon okay this is the future me just before i publish the video i just want to share with you that apple intelligence experience is now here and it took me about 20 minutes to basically get this notification so yes it's less than an hour and i'm just gonna finalize this and then share the video boom the experience is here.